Good evening. This is Tina. Uh, we are gonna talk about edit product details to fix the submit button issue. Okay. So let's go to our Firefox. And uh, here, let's go to localhost 3000. And now, uh, when I click the edit button, this part works because this one is just using the exactly the same thing as we use inside the uh, uh, display product details found by ID. Display uh, product detail just show everything inside the, uh, like uh, using paragraph tag or div tag, right? Edit product detail, we just show all the details inside the form. Okay, that's uh, the difference. Okay. So now is when I change something here and I click submit, doesn't it work? Okay, we have to fix this issue. And uh, we have to, well, how, how to fix? First, we check when I click submit button, where it actually submit. Now it's actually submitted to, see here, when I click submit button, it submit to slash admin slash edit product method is post. So we go to our router to find a route.post and the URL is this one, okay. So here we go to our router, it's on admin, okay. And which is a post and the URL is uh, edit product slash admin slash edit product. Uh, slash admin is in app.js, see here, slash admin slash edit product. So we'll go here, which is in our controller. And which is this part doesn't work, right? And why? Because remember, when we add the product, we have to using this syntax, okay? Which is a match to our uh, model, product model, the schema structure. But here we are still using the old way. So how to fix that? First, we have to find that product. Then we have to do uh, an add, okay, uh, an update. So here. The API I used before is this one. Product, okay, dot, find. You can use find by ID and update, okay. And here we will give an ID. What's the ID? Request body dot ID, okay, this is ID, okay. And if it find it successfully, uh, here give us a promise, okay. They will give you a product, okay, which is a old product. Okay, which is the product in our database. Okay, then you can do the change on this one. Okay, how to do the change? Old product dot title equals request body dot title. Okay, we just using the value we retrieved from the form. Override the old product title. Override the title belongs to the database. Okay, override the title in the database. Okay. This is the document, uh, this is the object, right? Object, how to change the value using object dot key, right? Key, title is the key. Same thing, old product dot uh, image URL equals request dot body dot image URL. And same thing for old product dot uh, price equals request dot body dot price. Okay, and then another one. Uh, all the product dot uh, description and the equals request body dot description. Okay, and then we can do is yes, using uh, return uh, using uh, all the product dot self. Okay, and uh, and what this one do? Okay, see here. When the when uh, we have a video which is a save a product, right? When we save a new product, we're using the same method. And when we update, we're still using the same method. So same method can do the uh, insertion and can also do the update based on if you have a object ID or not. And in our save, previous the save, the actual save a new product, in the product, this one, we don't have an ID, okay? If it doesn't have an ID, this save method, which is provided by Mongoose, it's gonna to do insertion into insert this new product into the database. And MongoDB will automatically generate 
object ID ID for us. But when we do an update, here we already has uh, an ID, which means the old product already has ID, okay? And uh, we just change the other values except the object ID. So when we call save, and uh, save, this one will do an update because it's our ID is already there. And the save will return a promise. What we can do is here we add a return. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Return. And since we add a return here, here we can continue chaining. Dot. Dot then. Dot then. And this then is when the save is save successfully. Okay. This then is attached to this save. When save is successfully, we can do yes result. If you want to get a result, you can get. And here we don't. And what we do here is we redirect. <coughs> We redirect to the products, okay, and here I'm gonna using the ID, gonna be the request body.id, which is this one. Okay, okay. And if we have an error, we just catch the error. And what's the error? You can do the error handling by yourself, okay. Log e e r r, okay. And here, then we will remove the others. Okay. So now we are done update and let's test if it works. Okay. We go here. <coughs> let's start from uh, scratch. We go to the home page and we change the spring. Yeah, oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, this is delete. This is other two card. Okay. We click the edit and we just say uh, spring is here. Okay. Then we click submit and uh, we, it will go to the table, right? Spring. And the price and description. It change the spring is here. We can do a nice change here. Edit and change the price to be ninety nine nine nine. Okay, and uh, this one change to be uh, hello from React. Okay, and we we'll submit and it still changed successfully. Okay, so even though here we're using self, it's actually doing an update. This is one way. I, let me let's try another API. How about that? This API I didn't practice before. Product also has update method. If you see this one here, we can use update one. Let's take a look at update one. You doing update one will give a condition and it will give a, a document, uh, any document, and they kind of have a callback. I'm not familiar with this one. Okay. So the condition gonna be, I think we have to using the same way as we did before, like this one, ID. Uh, what we can do is we can go to the, you know, the, the what's the, we can go to the uh, mongoose to check if it actually works. And here, let's try this way, okay? Because I didn't say look at the API, I don't know if this way works or not. It is a document. So here, I'm not sure if we just give a document is fine or we have to do a set, okay? So we, let's let's do this one first, okay? Title, we were using this one, request body dot title. And uh, we're using image URL. Just uh, practice. If it doesn't work, we check a look, take a look at the API, and we get get a price. And uh, let's see, okay. And we give a description. And here, this one gonna give us a promise. So what we can do is do like uh, we did before this part. And here our comment the others. So now if it uh, if this way works, then when we submit it will st when we edit it gonna still redirect back to the same page. So let's take a look at if it works. Okay, I'm not a guarantee. Okay, not here. I'm not a guarantee. Angular, great. Just add this thing. Okay, let's change this. Great, add this thing. Click. Oh my God, I'm so smart. <laughs> <coughs> 
I'm very honest. I didn't look at the API for this one. Uh, I didn't look at any demos for this one. And uh, I just, we just take a look at this one and guess, okay. Like uh, here is a say condition, okay. And uh, here it is a doc. So what I, what we did is here, like uh, we give a condition, but the thing here, I guess, okay, because based on our experience so far, for all the ID, see here, for all the ID, we don't need to change it to be an object ID, right? Uh, if we do not using mongoose and this ID, we have to require that object ID and here we have to use a new object ID. I guess mongoose will automatically do for, for us. That's why here I don't use. And for the document, do you remember previously? <clears throat> when we, uh, last week, when I talk about a MongoDB, when we're trying to update one method, you know, do you remember update one method? In MongoDB, we have three update methods, right? Update one, update many, and update, right? And here we have to using this syntax, which is set, which is change the part you want to change. Uh, I just try here and it works, okay? So update one, using exactly the same uh, syntax we used inside the MongoDB, like a qu filter and uh, the new document, the changes you want, and uh, you can optionally give a callback. If you don't give a callback, then it gonna return a promise for you. Then you can use it then and a catch. If you want to use async and await, you can use async and await, okay? Okay, I'm done. That's it for this video, and uh, we did it in two uh, versions, okay? One is a find by ID and update. The other one is using the kind of like a MongoDB update one syntax, okay? Thank you for watching, and uh, see you next time. The source code is in the description, okay? Uh, in the description has a link, okay? Bye-bye.